Hi, my name is Frankie. Thank you for listening to my mom. I never listen. Well, here she is, Tanya Warren, the head coach at UNI. I'm so glad that you could be with us on Nothing But Net. Coach, good to see you. This is my friend, Patrick. Hi, Patrick. Nice to meet you. Thanks. It's nice to be here with you. So, Patrick, Coach uh, has been the longest tenured coach in the Missouri Valley, and she plays the hardest schedule in the league every year. This year, it was a little rocky. Look what's happening. We got it going, right? It was way rocky, but yeah, we got it going. We had some some key injuries um, to start league, you know, conference play. Um, we played the third toughest net schedule in the country. Um, you know, when you put that schedule together, you think you're going to be healthy. Um, but, you know, we had some adversity, but we, we've been able to overcome some things and start playing a little bit better basketball. You got two of my favorite players in the Valley, Grace and Maya. Tell me how they're doing. Grace is playing extremely well. You know, Grace missed uh, six weeks due to a broken clavicle um, and is playing well. I think out of her 10 or so games back, she's had six double-doubles. Uh, so she really didn't miss a beat, um, which was neat to see. I mean, she, you know, she's just a tough kid, doesn't take possessions off, uh, scores in a variety of ways. And uh, Maya Maya's really improved her mid-range jump shot. Um, she's shooting a little about 43, 44% from the two, about 36 from the three. And she's leading the country in free throw percentage. So uh, both are having a really good year. Well, we like that, don't we? It sounds wonderful. Patrick, what was your free throw <laughs> Oh, it wasn't good. It wasn't very good. <laughs> well, um, the state of Iowa, Tanya, on fire. I mean, always good women's hoops, girls' basketball. What's unique and different about this year? Well, I mean, you have Caitlin Clark that, um, you know, you just, I don't know that there are words that can really describe what she's done for the game. Um how she plays the game. Um, you talk about, you know, and I've been trying to compare her to someone that was playing when I was coming up, whether that would be Cynthia Cooper, um, Swoops. Um, I, I don't even know. She, this young lady is so good not only can she score on so many different levels, but she is a terrific passer and she's an outstanding rebounder. Um, mm -hmm. What she's done for the game and how she has carried herself, I don't think enough gets talked about how she's carried herself because for them to go to the final four, be in the championship game, her to come back and have all this pressure, all this pressure, and for her to handle it the way she's handled it, I can't say enough about her as a person. I mean, we know she's a great player, but it says a lot about that young lady as a person. And what I really appreciate is how she gives back to the community. I mean, I've watched with my own eyes her stand in line for hours after games to sign autographs. That says a lot about the young lady. What I really have grown to appreciate and respect about her is Every time there's a mic in front of her, she says things about her team, then yep. the staff, then the growth of the game. It's yep. fun to listen to, isn't it? It is. It is. What do you like about Caitlin? Oh, well, just everything she does. She shoots it pretty good. She, she, she certainly does. <laughs> yeah, she's she's with range, here. with range, and That's people right. hanging all over her. But I, I agree with with what you just said, Debbie. I I've been impressed too. She always includes her her teammates. She always includes her coaches. Um, and she always says something so good mm -hmm. about the game and how the game's evolving. And she's, she's in the center of that. Um, but like I said, for her to give back the way she gives back, that says a lot about the young lady as a person. Don't you think that in some ways, because you coach so many kids from the state of Iowa, that it's inherent in their mid Midwestern values in some way that you know, the way they're raised, how much great basketball there is in your state, 
how much those kids, all four D1 schools, all the kids know each other. They they all feel to me like they're pulling for each other. Now, when you're playing against each other, you want to win. Right. But right. there's a sense of community about that. Yeah, and there's a lot of mutual respect. Like you said, I mean, it's Iowa nice. Iowa girls, extremely kind. Um, and yeah, when we're playing against each other, we're competitive, but we're certainly rooting for each other. You know, I, I'll say um, I have a terrific relationship with, with all of them. And Bill Finley, he texts me before every game and wishes us luck. And we do the same with them. Um, I coach our, uh, cool. Allison and coach against her and she's doing a terrific job. And then Lisa reached out to me when I broke the record um, last week uh, and I reached out to her in terms of what they're doing. I mean, there's just a, a mutual respect and that's what you want. And that, again, that says a lot about the staffs of all the, the state programs. I want to ask you about uh, Jackie Stiles and Caitlin Clark, since I think you would have a good perspective on it. You watched it, you yep. coached against it, um, you experienced it up, you know, up up close and personal on, on both players. Yep. What, what would you, when you put them in the same sentence, what do you get? Well, they're both terrific scores. Um, I, I think they're similar, but they're different. Um, I, I think Jackie could score in a variety of ways as well. She didn't have Caitlin's range. And I think what separates Caitlin is her ability to make those around her better. She's just a terrific passer. And like I said, um, mm -hmm. she rebounds the basketball extremely well for a guard. Um, but her ability to make those around her better uh, I think sets her apart. They're both terrific scores. I don't think that you can compare them because they're similar, but they're so different. But if I had to, I'd have to give, I'd have to say Caitlin because of her ability to make those around her better. I mean, for her to assist on the amount of points that she assists on yeah. and the double doubles that she averages, I mean, it's hard to compare her to anyone, to be quite honest. Maybe Cheryl Miller. Tanya, I want to go back to your... Oh, yeah, Cheryl Miller. I played against Cheryl Miller. She was, to me, the best player that ever played the game. Uh, right. Maybe until right. Uh, I, I want to go back to your team because when I was in Iowa in October to go to the football game, the game mm -hmm. in the football stadium, I'm calling it the football game. Yeah. I went up to your campus. I drove up there to spend some time with two of your kids, and I mentioned Grace and Maya already. Uh, I have some really good stuff that I have yet to put out because I was waiting for the right time to do it. I was waiting for your, you know, your non-conference schedule for their health because mm -hmm. they both. Um, I, I found those two young women to be such great ambassadors as well. They love playing basketball. And isn't that really, I mean, when we get down to it, there's a lot of stuff that goes on now around the college landscape, but the pure love and joy and you see it when you watch them. And Grace to be out for that time, to come back and to be yeah. productive. Maya to do what she's doing in a league where there's a lot of good point guards. Yeah. Um, what, what would you say about those two and their personalities around your program? Well, they're, I mean, they're amazing young women. They're a joy to coach. They genuinely love and care for each other and their teammates. You know, I call them our heart and soul. They are literally our heart and soul of who we are and what we do and how we do it. Um, not only are they terrific on the floor, but they're great in the community. They're great in the classroom. Uh, and they just bring so much joy. So many people just love them. Um, they just have terrific personalities and they're very selfless young women. Patrick, what, what do you think when you're listening to Tanya? You've had a chance to listen to a lot of coaches. She really likes Coach K. Well, right. Oh yeah. We all like Coach K, but you That's right. Who else do you like? Who else, what other coaches do you think you might like? Oh, I like Tanya. I know yeah, that. I like Tanya. I'm so yeah. close. I like uh, Gamecock. Game, oh, yeah. You like Dawn? Yeah. yeah Dawn. You're, well, we're in Gamecock country right now. Right. Yes, you, you are. You have a chance to watch, watch. Do you watch all of Dawn's games? I try to. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I, don't uh, I, I had an opportunity to meet and talk with her when I was at USA Basketball. And she reaches out occasionally. Um, but what I really, really love and respect about Don is no one's, she will speak to any and everyone. Um, she will give knowledge back. Um, 
she will encourage, um, she will embrace, she just gives back. And it doesn't matter where you coach, where you live, what side of the tracks you come from. You talk about selfless, she is selfless. And you see it in how she coaches, how she presents herself, and you see it in how much her kids love playing for her. Dawn, Dawn has, we're in Charleston, you know, we have beat writers from Charleston that cover Columbia uh -huh. and Dawn. So we have a chance to see and read and watch a lot of what Dawn does. What is one of your favorite things about the Gamecocks, watching them play? Oh, well, they 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 love the game, but they they love playing with each other. I mean, they mm -hmm. have respect for each other, and oh, I, you can see great it when you watch them play. Together. Those are the most, most fun things, right? Oh yeah, yes, yeah, chemistry. Well, Tanya, um, as the league comes towards the last couple of weeks of the regular season. Mm -hmm. Uh, no one wants to see you on the other side of the bracket, lady. Nobody <laughs> wants to see you on their side of the bracket. Well, yeah, when we, you know, when we're good, we're really good. Um, we've kind of hurt ourselves. Our starts have been slow. You know, we're, we're one and six against the top half of the league. But yet we have the largest win margin. So it, it's really been uh, very interesting. But when those top, six we've all gotten off to slow starts now we've made the games close but we've gotten off to slow starts and when you're playing against the top half of this league and even the bottom half your starts are really really important so um we're starting to play good basketball i mean our five starters we only had them all together for six games and we've not, had not been able to have a lot of continuity in practice because of all the injuries so we're, we're starting to try to find a little bit of a rhythm for as long as you've been doing this, and you and I have been around the game a long time, Moline is in the, you know, through the windshield, right? We see that coming, the conference tournament. I mean, I know that you never get um, black for excitement or or, or, or ever no. dip in your attitude when it gets close to, to this time of year. I've watched your teams for too long. Yeah. Um, what are you What are you most excited about? I mean, I'm serious. Nobody wants to see you on their side of the bracket. Well, you know, I, I think every day is, an, is a new opportunity, and I'm excited to see how this team embraces, um, and we got some work to do before we get there, but embrace whatever the challenge is, whether we're in that Thursday game or we're in the, the Friday game, whatever game we're in, that we embrace that and we understand that it's one and done. So it is a, literally a one-game season. How is our approach and how do we embrace that opportunity. One day at a time, right, Patrick? That's it. That's it. <laughs> One day at a time. <laughs> One day at a time. Well, Tanya, thank you so much for being with us Absolutely. on Nothing But Net. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Patrick. I've enjoyed watching you play. Thank you. You guys have a good night. Thanks, Tanya. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.